My Gemini, <laughs> my Yanny Gemini, yeah. What's up, twins? What's popping? What's going on in the life of a twin for the month of August 2019? <laughs> Y'all keeping moves, keeping your moves to your damn self, and low key uh dealing with this third party shit. <laughs> Yeah, we gonna talk about it. <laughs> hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out, I cuss. May cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell the cards say, but I'm a cuss, okay? So if cussing doesn't work for you, please feel free right now, okay, to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without uh, cussing, because I'm gonna do that, okay? To um, the new subscribers, hey, y'all, hey, welcome to the family. We're a little dysfunctional. We don't fight and fuss, however, we leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss, we grow, we love. We enlighten, we share, we evolve. Posy vibes only over here. We want to be happy family. Returning subscribers, family, don't cut me, okay? Because ain't nobody got time for that. Go ahead and lay out all your damn verbal abuse and verbal lashes on the damn table at one time so we can get past this shit. Because you know me, Aries, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Then we're going to sit it down and I'm going to say, are you done? Because I'm here, huh? Better late than never. I love you. And you're still getting the mid months. So I don't talk no shit. Now, make sure I put y'all first in the damn lineup so y'all don't cuss me out. All right? So let's get it. <laughs> Thank you all for the likes, the shares, and subscribes, the comments, the love, the readings, you guys. I truly appreciate it. Thank you guys just for humbly, just through this journey, supporting me. Thank you so very much, as well as my gift. Just coming here and just continuously showing your love. You don't have to do this. A lot of people do what I do. Thank you. Okay? So we're going to start with your intuitive messages, y'all. This will be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers. For the sign of Gemini for the month of August, we're going to come back in uh, either mid or late August uh, to do some check-ins. We're just going to see where you guys are right now. Let's go ahead and kick you off with your intuitive messages, okay? For the month of August, my gem side, alignment, prophecy, plot twist, respect lost, out of state, heart chakra, Throat chakra, solar plexus, forgiveness, perception shift, balance restored, happiness, great fortune, realization, thief, rejection, truth spoken, obligation, boredom, value system, past life. All right. So that's what I have for you guys intuitively. For the month of August, overall energy around the reading is this third party shit. Three of uh, diamonds, okay? So for some of you all, some of y'all I'm hearing that some of your partners may feel neglected uh, because you're putting work first. Some of you guys are putting work first because you have a new opportunity on the damn table and you've waited so long for this damn opportunity. And tell them they're going to have to catch up, hot sauce. Get like you so they ain't got time to be in their damn head worrying about what the hell you doing, Okay. Um, I do. I'm going to start off with the with the three zodiac signs that I did get. Okay, for you guys, I'm dropping the angel message. Um, I'm hearing rising and Venus. Okay, so this could be in these people's Venus. It could be their sun sign, but just take it how it resonates for you. Okay, the three signs I got was Sagittarius. Also got Virgo. Lastly, I got Pisces. Okay, so definitely the fact that I see three six nine. Some of you all may be seeing synchronicities of six three. Some of y'all may be seeing twelve twelve. Others of you may be seeing um, like three, 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 um, even synchronicities of the nine. You guys are on your way to completing the cycle and you're being expanded when it comes to the knowledge around the situation. If you're dealing with a Pisces, some of y'all may actually be finding out that you're having a baby or some type of expansion that's occurring with a Pisces. OK, I actually seen this in Pisces region. So some of y'all could definitely be dealing with the sign of Pisces or someone who has a Pisces, Venus or rising sign. OK. Um, others of you, there is some type of truth that's going to be expounded also if you're dealing with the sign of Pisces. There could also be, they could also be the third party as well, I'm here for some of you all, okay? Others of you, if you're dealing with the sign of Virgo, there's harmony coming to a situation. I definitely feel like someone wants to kind of come and bring harmony to it. They want to restore a cycle. They really want to bring the balance back into your life. So if you have children, I'm hearing by Virgo, this person could also be coming in, to, coming in during this time to be very helpful. Allow it and don't be no damn jerks. Someone wants to bring harmony to your life. Some of you all, I'm hearing hell no because this person is still attached to another person. But I feel like there's some type of closure um, and some type of... Pretty much agree to disagree and go our separate ways in a peace with the peaceful resolve, okay, with the Virgo, okay? 
If you have children with this person, this person is just wanting to be helpful. This person is also trying to solidify or break some type of cycle, okay? If you're dealing with the sign of Sagittarius, you guys could be wrapping up, coming to some type of completion during this time. I definitely feel like this person was the person that is meant to be in your life to take you through this period of the dark night of the soul. Through this person, you're able to see the darker aspects of yourself. This person I'm hearing is a reflection of you. So for some of you all, you may be dealing, you have a karmic tie here with the Sagittarius. For some of y'all, it's your twin. But for others of you, it's a karmic bond that's stemming from a past life. And you're going to be being enlightened uh, regarding that particular union. Um... Possibly in your dream space, because a lot of you guys, your ancestors are really communicating with you all, but you in your damn head space about what's not going right, why it's not moving fast enough. Your patience is definitely going to be tested during this month of August, okay? But I do see beautiful things. I see you guys wrapping up cycles to going to new, going to, um, going to better and more abundant cycles, but it's after you, after you, Get this lesson that causes you to stop repeating the same shit, whether it comes to relationships, whether it comes to how you adjust with your abundance, whether it comes to you making moves and knowing when to release shit and not hold on to shit out of comfort or out of fear of the unknown. OK. First angel message we got is all is well. Archangel Jeremy. Everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to with hidden blessings that you will soon un understand this. There is lessons. That is needing to be learned from the individuals in your life. People come in your life for a reason in the season. You can't expect the motherfuckers to stay there forever. Then how will you grow? And how will you go? How will you ascend to the next level of your life? Especially when a person is wanting to stay still and not move on that. Some of y'all, you have people putting up this damn, you're dealing with people putting up this fight or flight type attitude. It's like, before I completely change, it's like this, this fear of change is so heavy. Before I completely change, then I'm just going to move forward and just go deal with another motherfucker who's still sitting in the air, in the, in the, in the space of comfort, comfort within the consciousness that I'm comfortable with because I have this fear of expanding myself or I have this fear of expanding and actually being actually having to put in work to keep a situation that's worth having. And I feel like this could have to do, I heard Sagittarius so strongly in Virgo. So that could be why um, these two are here. Okay. Some of you all are going to be, um, and I'm sorry, just to call it y'all. <laughs> Some of you all, um, some of y'all could also be uh, researching information regarding the stars, the god, the star gods, okay, the gods that uh, shine down um, upon us, okay? Others of you are learning how to manifest using the stars, kind of this dualistic type energy. Um, some of you guys are going through this space of mastery of self. I think I've seen this for y'all before, too. The next card that you got was Take Your Power Back, Archangel Raziel. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. You know what's funny was when I was shuffling these and these were falling out, this particular card fell right onto Sagittarius. So some of you all may feel as if you you have this mindset and you've programmed your mind to feel as if you've needed another person all of this time. But if you really kind of step back and reflect and like from a third party's view, what's really going on in your life, you see that some of you guys... You've been dealing with situations and individuals that kind of keep you, it's like they want to keep you feeling as if the ideas that you came up with, uh, you know, the moves that you thought about moving was their ideas so that you will have this, this energy of not wanting to release yourself from it. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody who's afraid to be by themselves. Oh, this could be you. Others of you, there's a need for you to be very expressive when it comes to expressing how you feel about situations and not expressing it from a space of fear, but expressing or not being manipulative when you express things. Uh, because maybe if this is someone in your life, gems, that, you know, feel as if they need you, this codependent nature, it's like a need for you not to feed that, even, even within another person who's trying to do this to you. Make a motherfucker believe about your actions, because actions speak what? Volumes, bitch. Okay. Next thing we got is overcoming difficulties. Okay. Archangel Germion. The worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. Okay. Some of you all may be finding feathers. Others of you have the confirmation. Some of y'all may be finding feathers. If that feather is white, your ancestors are wanting you to know that they are leading and guiding your path as well. And for some of you all, they want you to know that you are on the right track when it comes to trusting in your way shores. Trusting that you are being led by a higher power. And also, there's a need for you guys to hold your cool, keep your cool during this time. I don't, when I started doing you guys' reading, I got extremely hot. 
I got hot. And for some reason, as much as I wanted to fucking ignore it, I kept hearing, I hate you so much right now. I hate you so much right now. Ah! Who the fuck is singing that crazy ass? I used to love it when I was little. Uh, I think it's Khalees. Is it? Is it? Am I wrong? Yeah, somebody hates somebody so much fucking right now. Okay? And I feel like that feeling is shifty. Again, I heard Sagittarius. So, I don't... <laughs> Y'all in Sagittarius got some shit going on, okay? Next message I got, y'all, is victory. Again, there's a focus on the throat chakra. Some of you guys, um, you have an opportunity to travel, and I feel like this opportunity is presenting itself because it's destined for you to release a cycle that's been, listen, it's been passed the damn two. The due date to let this shit go. You put your two weeks notice in, you done quit four times, they still won't give you a severance package. Listen, <laughs> who got time for this drama? I feel the Gemini's really want to live life drama free. Some of you guys, some of y'all are moving forward, moving to a whole nother space and an opportunity and you're not telling nobody until you fucking get to where you're going. Kudos for you. That's the way to do it, damn it. Last message, an uh, angel message you guys got was victory. Archangel Sandifon. Your prayers have been answered and heard. Have faith. Again, you are being led. You are being divinely guided by a higher power, okay? Some of you guys are really needing to connect with your uh, with your spirit team, with your archangels, with your guides. Um, you're needing to call out to them, especially for those of you. Some of y'all are actually seeing 444. Um, when you see 444, know that whatever it is that you, whatever it is that your thoughts, whatever it is that you're desiring at that moment, that is a special time for you to actually call on your angels and give them permission because they cannot... They cannot inter intervene in your life on certain things here on the earthly realm unless you give them permission. They are multidimensional, but we have ultimate authority here within this dimension. So you have to give them that permission. Shit, y'all play it safe. Y'all got people out here playing these damn games. They spouses and shit want to play the uh, come back to me spells on yo motherfucker. No, y'all better crank up y'all damn car, y'all damn ancestors and y'all angels and know when it's time to go. Who do you? Nobody finna fucking play with y'all. No, you covered. God got you. Let's check in on y'all mental space. Because I can see and feel the energy of overthinking some shit. Okay? Spirit, what messages do you have for my gems for the month of August? Summer Horizon Venus as well as the Cross Watcher for Gemini. Yes. Becoming aware. Coming out of this space of being who the fuck people expect for you to be and actually actually following your own awareness, trusting your own awareness. And with you doing so, you're moving a little different. You're coming out a little different. Some of you guys are coming out of this space of fear or coming out of this space of allowing yourself to be manipulated by an individual. Some of y'all are dealing with the sign of Pisces. And some of you guys are, are, are becoming aware of the fact that the person that you're dealing with is merely a reflection of your shadow self in which you need to acknowledge, deal with, and accept, and forgive yourself about. Okay? Others of you, there's an opportunity to travel, baby, with the possibilities card. I definitely feel like do not put yourself in this box. Understand that you are not this limited being. God didn't make you to wake your ass up to be mediocre. Others of you have an opportunity of a lifetime to travel, and it's actually going to assist you with recreating that balance. And also assist you. Some of you guys feel as if you're here within the world, but you're not really living. You're just existing. And I feel that some of y'all may also feel as if you don't really have anybody to call on to but the gods and your ancestors as well. Because you feel as if people here on the earthly realm don't understand you. But it's about you mastering your own emotions, mastering the love of self. And exuding that shit and teaching motherfuckers how to treat you by example. Some of you all have a brand new start that's going to paint and paint 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 the world and paint the understanding that you've gotten to know about your mere existence in a whole new light. Some of you guys, some of you guys have never went no damn where. You give the opportunity to travel. For some of y'all, this also may be um, someone, even a friend or a family member, kind of offering you this chance of a, of, of a new start, of a rebirth, saying, hey, come out here, come live with me. Some of you guys are feeling as if, you know, you're aware that shit has to change in your life, but I feel like some of you guys are feeling as if it's like this fear of negative, well, not fear, this feeling of negative thinking about what could go wrong. Well, what about Sue Sue them? They going to need me. What about them? I, what about them? Well, can y'all let God do God's job? Please. Gems, okay? Because I definitely feel like 
you guys are definitely in this space, in this meditative state, in this meditative space of really going within and finding your sacred space within to receive your answers, okay? Some of you guys, just like Pisces, some of y'all need to start watching so many damn tarot videos. Y'all got my ancestors on y'all ass. I ain't got to get the deal, okay? Yeah. And become the master of your own emotions. Understand that you are the master of your reality. Can't nobody else sit in the motherfucking driver's seat of your life unless you give them the keys. So there's a need for you guys to take that damn wheel back on where it is that your, that your life is going. Because for some of you all, it's, it's harvest time. Blessings are trying to blossom for you. However, Spirit is saying, what are you going to do different, Geminis, in order to get something different? Listen to your inner voice. You are the motherfucking high priestess. Listen to yourself. Some of you all are going to be receiving downloads during this time regarding new opportunities. Some of y'all are also regressing back and forth into this life and past life in order to give you assistance on the way forward when it comes to closing and ending, like um, actually releasing those soul contracts, okay? Nuzzle and avoid them. Let that shit go. Cutting those cords, okay? Some of y'all are definitely listening to your inner voice when it comes to dealing with damn Pisces. You see them fish? A relationship is also trying to blossom here with a Pisces. But some of you guys have become addicted to the space of being by your damn self. You don't want to compromise your space. Others of you have issues when it comes to receiving. Spirit say, I hear the blessings that you're asking me for, and I'm trying to bestow them onto your damn life, especially when it comes to the form of love, okay? Some of you guys are literally... In this space, while you're going in this space of solitude, you're meeting the love of your damn life. And I feel like it's trying to be ripened during this time. However, you guys have to let go of the era of control. Stop trying to control how the fuck things are going to go. Because for some of y'all I'm hearing, you need to, you having to separate yourself from a situation that is burdensome. You feel as if you have, you're under the control of someone else. And spirit is asking you to see beyond the illusion for you to go on your own fucking transformation for this integration of what's for you to occur, baby, with the integration card being the last. But it's about you taking that, having that integration moment within self first and actually not being afraid to allow the blending of, of not only that mastery energy here, but the mastery energy. Because you've learned how to listen to yourself. Some of you guys are literally, some of y'all got a telepathic connection with someone. But some of y'all, it's a person who you don't even fucking know yet. But this person is going to know you. And this person is not going to take no for an answer. And I feel like this is something that is trying to come into fruition now. This person is very intuitive. For some of y'all, this person could also be an Aries person. Spirit is doing something special and spectacular. It's about participation. It's about duality. Blending, mastering your energy because the energy of Gemini is the energy of duality. As above, so below. So things as they are aligned in the heavens, in the, in the, in the 5D. Spirit is taking form, that same alignment here. That same alignment is taking form. Taking growth here within the 3D space. The spirit is saying, I need your help. I need your assistance in the co-creation process to get to this point. I need you to be willing to recognize your masculine energies, the weaknesses around them, and master them. Not feeling that there's, when you talk about the shadow self, no side is better than the other. They work together, integrate. They work together in duality to build this. To build this master. you the master of your own fate. Again, unless you give another motherfucker the keys. You guys are being set up with the wisdom that you're going to need. Patience is only being tested because wisdom is being bestowed. You can hold on to the hurt. The disappointment. The control, or you can participate in the co-creation of the universe, which is going to force you to face your damn fears and jump off the cliff. Let go. Release that fear of falling because failure is not in falling down. It's in fucking standing there and understand that this, this, this 
is how this master, this is what the master creates. But first he has to go beyond seeing, beyond the illusion and transform himself from going with, by going within in order for the outside world to reflect that transformation in order to recreate your whole new world that is beautiful that you did from the combustion of those energies, duality, alchemy, baby. You can have whatever you like. You can create it. Some of y'all are definitely dealing with a damn Aries, Pisces. Some of y'all are Capricorn. Some of you are Leo. There are reconciliations occurring. I'm hearing reconciliations with the new, okay? So some of you guys could have actually been talking to a new person and stopped. This, this person is assisting you with seeing every aspect of yourself. Even the ones that are full of light that you've been, that you haven't noticed, re recognized, or for that matter, acknowledged. Right? So, here, what's going on in love for the month of August? Love, finance, career, etc. For my Geminis, what's going on in love? For my Gemini, yeah. Some of you guys could definitely be coming, um, could be coming to some type of harmonious agreement. Possibly with uh, the mother or father of your child, your children. Someone could be bringing this to your area, I mean to your area, to your energy if you are a single mother. Especially if this person is Earth sign, Capricorn, Toy, Virgo, Pisces, Libra, Taurus, Aries. Okay, they said two more shuffles, alright. Real what messages you have for my Gemini, some of Rising Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers. Yeah. Some of you guys are ending the situation, letting that dumb shit go in order to find fulfillment. Have fulfillment. Alright, so what messages do you have for my gems for the month of August? 2019. And some of you guys are in this space of solitude. And some of you guys, um, some of you guys feel rejected by a Virgo during this time. You feel as if you're rejected by this person, but to be very honest, this person sees your growth and they're intimidated by it, to be very honest, Gemini. Others of you, yeah, some of you guys feel bad about rejecting someone or moving away from someone to live your damn best life, but Spirit got a blessing coming for you, baby. And instead, you stand in this damn energy, afraid of... Some of y'all also, I'm hearing, some of you guys are feeling as if you're walking on eggshells. And some of you guys could be rejecting a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, because you'd rather stay in this place of solitude because... Safety. Because you feel safe. Hmm. Some of you all have, and it came out again, damn it. Some of you guys have a new love that's coming into your life to bring this to bring this harmony into your world, okay? There's a need for you guys to be receptive. Some of you guys have a new opportunity in love, possibly with an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. And others of you are needing to make a decision, possibly between two fire signs, okay? Or need to choose between a fire sign, possibly, and a water sign. Others of you are going to have to choose between... Some of y'all going to choose to be by your damn self. And some of y'all going to choose to leave that damn Virgo out in the cold and lock your door and close your fucking windows and, 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 and dead both that motherfucker if you have to. Over there on the on the other. We cool, cool. From the other side of the door. Okay. <laughs> some of you guys are um, not making a decision because I feel as if some of you guys are compromising. And some of y'all have been trying to compromise with someone in love. But some of you guys could already be in some type of family dynamic and someone is giving you an ultimatum during this time. And I feel like some of you guys have to choose between two offers. One of them is extremely stable. So one of them, someone can take care of you, okay? And you can actually deal with this person. The other one, someone wants to kind of meet you halfway. We're going to have us some girl talk real soon. I got to get way ahead because we're going we gonna, to... We gonna, in fact, family talk. It ain't even limited to damn gender because I have my own damn views on that. You know, Gemini, do you agree with me? I feel like I'm not finna stay with no man and go and go half on rent. That's that's just me. I mean, because you know, when you want them 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 booty coupons and cookie coupons, I'm, I'm gonna have to charge you. I mean, just leave it on the night. That's a whole nother conversation. I know I can talk to y'all asses. I got Gemini Venus. 
So listen, <laughs> somebody out there is the same type of crazy, okay? Some of you all also, some of you guys have a new love that's going to require you to take a leap of faith in what you know, okay? Some of you guys could definitely have to choose between two fire signs. Thank you, Spirit. Some of you guys could be dealing with the sign of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? And I feel like for some of you all, you, you're just going to ghost the person during this time. Some of y'all going to make the choice not to have a conversation and, and, and tell someone that you want to move on from them. You're just going to stop talking to them. And for others of you, you could have a family with someone, but things have not been equal when it comes to the equal give and take and the equal, the shared responsibility in the relationship. You feel as if you're carrying the relationship by your damn self. So you feel as if I'm not even going to keep putting my damn energy into some shit I can't grow from. And kudos to you for that shit because I'm with the shits, okay? But I definitely feel like some of you all could also be in this space. You could be making an Aries feel rejected or you're afraid to uh, give this opportunity, give this new love a try because you feel as if um, this person may reject you. Some of y'all feel like this person have a lot of options. For those of you who are dealing with the sign of Scorpio, there may be some type of uh, perception shift around the union, okay? Somebody also may be wanting to renew a union with the Scorpio where someone could have been non-committal in the past. Now this person wants to be all up in your energy. They want to be all up on you, gems. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? You ready? <laughs> Others of you are having a whole different perception shift when it comes to love. You're going inside and trusting. You're going within and trusting yourself. Yeah. Some of you guys are indecisive about moving forward with a Pisces because you feel as if you're giving more to the relationship than the other person. Others of you, as soon as you let this damn fire sign go. You have an opportunity. If you've been having issues when it comes to finances, some of y'all need to let a Virgo go. Others of you need to let the sign of Taurus go. I definitely feel like there's going to be a reconciliation around this earth energy before the time being. Some of you guys need to let either some y'all some y'all need to let this damn Taurus person in to assist you. But in order to do that, there is some type of truth and clarity that's going to be had that can fuck some shit up that you already got standing. Okay? Because I definitely feel like there's some type of secrets around it. There is going to be, yeah, some of you guys, some of you guys could be dealing with someone who's a manipulative person. This person could be a fire sign, Aries, Neil, Sagittarius. I feel like this person knows the, all of the right things to say. Some of y'all could be dealing with this individual. This individual could be dealing with you because they don't have anywhere to go. Somebody is a couch bandit, okay? Others of you, this could have to do, yeah. Some of you guys, uh, you could have a fire sign that's trying to come in into your energy. I feel like someone is very clever, okay? Some some of y'all, this person, you could have children with this person. Some of y'all, this person kind of doesn't want you to. Some of y'all, this person is kind of standing in the midst of your damn energy because this person is trying to be um, a damn blessing blocker, okay? Others of you... Uh, some of you need to make a damn decision, but you feel that you're going to be experiencing some type of lack with making a decision. Like some of you guys could be married or in a solid relationship where you're bored, you're unhappy, and you're getting the opportunity to connect with someone else. This person is full of life. This person could also be someone that is within the public eye, okay? Some of y'all could be connecting with somebody who's famous, famous. <clears throat> and others of you, you're afraid of that because you feel as if, you're afraid of giving this person your all because you feel as if this person is going to fold on you with the drop of a dime if things don't go their way, okay? And some of you all, there is, the, some of y'all got another Gemini. For some of you all, it's a Libra or Aquarius that's trying to come in and transform a relationship with you, transform a marriage, I'm hearing, okay? Others of you, you got marriage on your damn mind. Some of y'all are going to actually be jumping to an, jumping in. Leaving one commitment and jumping into one that is actually solidified very quickly. And you're afraid of what people on the outside is going to say. There's internal conflict definitely with, with, with this type of with this commitment that is attached to this fire energy. As well as this commitment uh, surrounding this Libra. Others of you need to make a decision to leave a karmic situation because you are the catalyst to this person's awakening. Why is the hermit here? Why is the hermit here for gems? Yeah. Some of y'all are cutting the Virgo. You're over it. 
You communicate to this person, listen, for some of y'all it's because they drink too damn much. Some of y'all are leaving somebody behind who drinks a whole lot. You feel as if this person is a liability to your peace and you've done arguing with them over shit that they are they grown as ought to be able to control. <clears throat> some of y'all, this person is afraid to admit to you that they it's beyond, it's above them now. They need help. Some of you guys just have to do with you actually taking a leap of faith and moving to another city. You're afraid. You're scared to leave your life behind. This is what it's pretty much something that's all you know, okay? Others of you could definitely be renewing a situation or some type of commitment around a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like in the past, either you or this other person had some type of anxiety around them taking a leap of faith and actually committing to the relationship. Now this person is, and it had to do with somebody wasn't financially stable now someone is financially stable and you don't know if you want to make a decision because you've met someone new but some of y'all some of y'all gonna choose this earth sign capricorn towards virgo some of you guys are going to choose to renew a situation possibly with a pisces or a scorpio others of you you're going to forgive this cancer you're going to forgive this cancer, but by forgiving this cancer, it's going to assist you in moving forward and releasing the fears around love and you recognizing that everybody is not the same and walking on to your new blessing, possibly within an Aries, a Pisces, or a damn Taurus. Some of y'all, this is involving an Aquarian. This could be somebody who you work with. You don't know... Okay, and I'm also fearing somebody Somebody is afraid to come out of the closet based on their religion. Somebody could be married to the opposite sex, but connecting with the same sex. And in doing so, they found that they found more fulfillment in connecting with the same sex. However, there is a fear of this judgment from family and friends. So someone may be wanting to jump cities or jump states with another person. And you're afraid to take that leap of faith because your obligations here or this person is. Why is the Ace of Cups here with the Six of Pentacles? You can have whatever you like. Just jump off the cliff. Sorry, I got excited. You guys are also in your head about commitment. Someone who is toxic as hell is offering you commitment. And some of y'all don't want to tell this person, look, motherfucker, I'm already tired of investing in this shit. So y'all keep putting them on hold. You leaving them on hold. Okay, hold on. Wait a minute. Let me get right back to you. <laughs> I'm going to make the decision not to make a decision on your ass, okay? Yeah, some of you guys are reconnecting with someone who you could possibly have children with or someone from your past who you haven't possibly seen or connected with in quite some time. That can be a Capricorn towards Virgo or a fire sign. I'm also hearing this could be regarding a fire sign. Someone wants to come back in and help you, baby, okay? Some of you guys are very passionate about that damn Virgo, y'all. But you having to cut this person off because you're starting to see that this person is affecting your finances, they're affecting your energy, they're affecting your happiness. Um, and I feel like it's it's not really necessarily the, the person because I feel like some of y'all, this could be a friend of yours. And you feel as if this person just has a lot going on. So you may be just taking a step back away from this person to allow them to deal with their shit while you deal with your shit because you needed to make a decision on if you're going to keep investing in this marriage. Some of y'all, okay? Others of you need to make a decision on if you're going to keep keeping this person around because you feel like you need them. Spirit has pretty much, and during this time, for some of y'all, Spirit didn't rip the person's resources away to make you fucking leave. Bye! They got to go. If this is the reason why you're keeping them around, then I'm going to snatch that too. Now what you're going to do? I'm going to make you trust in yourself. And your own abilities. <clears throat> Some of y'all are being forced to take this leap of faith, y'all. And it's beautiful if you do. Hella transformative energy. And you got it quick, fast, and in a hurry. If you got a chance to reinvent yourself, do it. Run. Stop overthinking this shit. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Spirit, why the Ten of Cups two, three of them feel? Okay. Conflicts about, yeah, conflicts about being defensive. On accepting an offer um, or an apology around fixing or renewing the family situation. Some of you guys, I'm hearing, hell no, because you need me like the first of 15. Okay, somebody is a couch bandit. Okay, somebody is trying to use, I heard children. So somebody could be trying to use your children. This could even be your children. But someone could be trying to use your children as a reason to get in your damn good graces to come sleep on your couch because all they love thought boxes to put their ass out. Period. Okay, this person could definitely be a fire sign or a water sign. Some of y'all, it's a, um, it's this damn Virgo. <clears throat> oh, sorry. 
And for some of you all, <laughs> you're not feeling it. You're going to tell this person, no. No, baby, you can spend the night, but you got to go. Yeah, when you get up, I'm going to have breakfast ready. I'm going to fold your cover up for you, and you got to go. Okay? The food card. Some of y'all could have had something stolen from you. And there was, I feel like some of you all, this is involving a Scorpio. For some of y'all, it's involving a Taurus and a Cancer. But for some of y'all, this is involving a Scorpio and a Sag. Truth is going to be coming out about that. That situation will be rectified. Things will be returned to you ten times fold. You're going to receive a blessing. Some of y'all are actually um, actually going to look looking up like financial or legal legal aid for this shit. And I do see that that's the way to go. Again, catalyst to an awakening. I'm the motherfucking humble. Let me tell you who you won't steal from. Okay? I do feel that someone is going to be apologizing for that and trying to return something to you, gentlemen. Be open. Okay? <clears throat> Why is the food card here? I heard inheritance. Somebody stole an inheritance? Trying to make it back up? Mm. Preventing, preventing her path. Okay, this could be outside. I heard preventing her path forward. Karma. This is your karma. Y'all take that high resonance. That, that actually didn't sound or feel real good. I actually took that shit extremely personal. Like, that shit. Ooh. Sorry, y'all. Shit, that message hit different. I'm sorry. Yeah, some of you guys are resisting this new start with this Aries person. Even though there is a lot of passion here, there's still a need to release trust issues, doubt, uh, inner conflicts. You guys also... Okay, so someone may be opening up really soon. You may also be uh, receiving some type of, yeah, some of y'all were afraid to like, either you or another person was afraid to be rejected, but I do see during this time, somebody could be reaching out and expressing themselves how they feel about another person. And to your damn surprise, this person wants the same things. So then the, it's like this fear release. Y'all got two jokers on the board, God damn it. Listen, and if well, I'm going to leave it where it fell because I was going to, I was going to clarify the hangman. Um, but actually it fell between the hangman the six of pentacles and the two of wands. So I feel like with this here, I feel like Gemini, you hold the cards of how things are going to go. You could choose to um, receive the help from this individual. Cause I definitely feel like y'all are dealing with a Pisces or an earth sign or a fire sign with this particular scenario. You could choose to receive the help. Okay. But I feel like even with you receiving the help, you're still in this situation where you feel as if you're stuck or you're trapped in this damn union because there's a sense of codependency. This person is depending on your need of that help, okay? Which is how they finesse in the damn system and manipulate in the damn system. Some of you guys, you're going to choose to heal this situation, have a conversation, accept this person's apology, as well as set boundaries. If you're going to help me, you was going to do that shit regardless if it was genuine. You don't have to stay here with me to fucking help me. You can help me from the other side of that damn door if it's about your children. Speak up. Say the right shit, okay? Yeah. Some of you guys, this person wants to come in and offer love, but they're taking the slow approach because they don't kind of want they don't want to put their foot in their mouth, Gemini. Some of you guys, um, there are, that's definitely an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo that wants to transform a situation. I do see that some of you guys could have recently cut off a soulmate due to the fact that they was resisting growing the fuck up. You felt Gemini's like, I'm not your mother. <laughs> I'm not your mother. Yeah. And some of you guys got a new beginning. Brand new. Okay. Some of you all, this has to do with some type of investment. For those of you who was actually um, resisting leaving a job, especially if they already been threatened to put your ass out the door, it's inevitable that this tower is going to fall because ultimately this tower this is it's actually going to be a blessing in disguise to set your ass up for this. I definitely feel like for some of y'all, it is a collaboration with others, but whatever it is that you've been trying to manifest that you feel as if have been taking so long, while y'all praying about, you praying for God to change things in your life, but Spirit is trying to change you to set you up to be in the position to be receptive to these blessings. And everybody ain't meant to walk through that door of happiness with your ass. Understand that everybody, some, some, some of these folks seasons they ran their course, Gemini, because you have a new opportunity here to have with the Capricorn towards Virgo. But some of y'all, it's a damn fire sign, every seal sag. And some of you all, you have the option to solidify 
something, build on it with someone you already know, and something brand spanking fucking new that's going to offer you the same opportunity, which is why I understood why this fell here with this. You got two jokers on the table. What else the fuck you want? You're that bitch. You're that guy. I think I'm going to be a Gemini all fucking August, okay? Because listen, y'all have great shit going on. The only person that can stand in your way is you by what you allow, all right? Take the new, new, boo, all right? I love you all. This is what I have for you guys for the month of August. I pray that it resonates with you all. Please like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you here for the mid-months. Bye-bye.